Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into Animal Crossing Wild World here on the Nintendo DS. So we're going to change our time. Uh, reset the clock. So it is time to catch up in August. August has kind of been... Uh, okay, so August, we'll do 13th. It's a good good day. Lucky 13. Uh, so, oopsie-daisy. So... Before we, I get into explaining that, um, we're we're looking for a couple of bugs. They're all beetles. We're looking for the uh, the scarab beetle, which is available from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, the giant beetle, which again is available between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, the rainbow stag, we're looking for it, but it's available in September too, so it's not a priority. Uh, if we see it, we're not going to obviously not catch it, but yeah. Uh, but that's also a night adventure beetle, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, we're, we're looking for the Atlas beetle, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. The Horned Hercules, 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, and the Tarantula, which is 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, the Scorpion also, again, not going to not catch it if I see it, but it's out in September as well, whereas the tarantula goes away after August. So this is, this. we're kind of, uh, first of all, we're going to do a night adventure. Uh, let's do 11.46 p.m. on Saturday, August 13th. That seems like a good, a nice time in the middle of the night, uh, to rock and roll and do some rare beetle catching um, and rare insect catching. But what I was saying was, uh, July, we caught a bunch of fish. We caught a bunch of bugs uh, across all the Animal Crossing games. <clears throat> and I feel like August is like the catch-up month. Or not the catch-up month, but like whatever's left. It's like the, the leftover pick-up-the-slack kind of month. What is happening? Oh, hey. The fireworks show is today. We missed this during the summer, too. Kaboom. Hopefully, uh, beetles are still out while there are fireworks going on. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm sure they're all right. Hey, Torma. Yeah, there's still beetles out. There's a beetle. That looks like a fruit beetle, which I don't need. I, uh... I will say, though... I don't know why I'm picking weeds right now. But I will say, I feel like... The beetles in this game... At least the small ones, like the fruit beetle... They're just like a, collect a small assortment of pixels. Ooh, what is that guy? Let's not scare it away, shall we? Whatever it is. Got it. A stag beetle. Guess what we didn't need? A stag beetle. We need a rainbow stag, a giant beetle, scarab beetle, atlas beetle, and her horned Hercules. But no worries. If we see a beetle, we're probably going to catch it. At least until we get kind of in the rhythm and we know uh once i can start identifying beetles just by looking at them some of them are pretty obvious but some of them like this different stag beetles not so much the rainbow stag is pretty identifiable because of the color scheme on it I'm gonna run down here to the palm trees. Ooh. I actually already have a Goliath beetle. But I'll grab it anyway, just for money. Just for money's sake. 
Jeez, dude, there are so many Goliath beetles. That's all that's spawning down here, just Goliath. I like when he tilts it, and then you see how exactly how two-dimensional it is. They're literally just like two-dimensional sprites that they animated into 3D. So when he tilts it at an angle, it's just like a flat beetle that just goes, you know. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> also got to keep an eye out for tarantulas and or scorpions. Especially a tarantula if we could find one. But that's just kind of like, we're at the whim of the game, really. We don't get to choose what we look for in that regard. Get away from me, lion dude. Just, you saw that, right? He just ran at me. That lion just ran at me. I felt my life was in jeopardy. of boredom because all he ever does is talk my ear off. Oh my god, that's a scarab beetle, I think. Can these fireworks, like, chill out? Yes! We caught a scarab beetle, though. I was gonna say, can these fireworks just, like, chill out for a minute? Because, like, it's kind of nerve-wracking trying to sneak up on a bug when there are explosions in the sky. So the scarab beetle is collected. Bada bing, bada boom. I always thought the scarab beetle was more rare than it actually is. Maybe it's just because it's like it's a golden, so it, it seems like it should be very valuable. I don't know. It should be worth its weight in gold. So this is kind of a fun episode. We got the fireworks show going on. We're beetle hunting. Successfully so, thus far. Two, it only took, it, let's, like, six or seven minutes. And we got our first beetle. Oak silk moth, do I need that? I'm pretty confident I don't need the oak, oak silk moth. But just to be safe, let me check. Yeah, no, we don't. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. this fruit beetle out of here. Fruit beetles are actually difficult to scare away. Kind of like the drone beetles in uh, on GameCube. The fruit beetles are ones that they just like don't they just don't go away no matter. You have to get like really close to them and scare them away. You can pretty much run in your face head like face first into a tree and they still don't get scared away. Trying to keep an eye on these palm trees. Because these palm trees are going to be where some of the more rare beetles are. Do I really only have palm trees over there, though? I thought I had more palm trees in this. There's another oak silk moth, another fruit, uh, fruit beetle. Jeez, dude. Scare all those away. We don't need any of those. I am curious whether or not a tarantula or a scorpion would be willing or able to spawn based on how many weeds I have in my town right now. The only reason I say that is because I know when New Horizons first came out, uh to like artificially create a scorpion island or like a tarantula island <clears throat> or rather just get them to spawn on Nook Mile Islands um the, you had to like or at least the rumor was that if you cleared out all of like the foliage on the ground like all the flowers all the weeds all the what have you all the trees uh it encouraged 
like, it increased the spawn rate of those ground-dwelling bugs. Um, and it seemed to work. It could have just been, like, a placebo, because I, I did it a couple times, and it did seem to work, but they could have just been kind of spawning. I remember when the when the game first launched, New Horizons first launch, uh, launched back in 2020, it was, like, it was so easy to just mine, uh scorpions and tarantulas like they were they were not rare at all and i'm not sure if they are or how rare they are anymore i mean i did get a scorpion island the other day um but aside from that like i have i don't see them very frequently in my town anymore but when the when i first started playing the game back in 2020 it was like every night i think it was like night one or night two that's a cockroach right yeah Night one or night two, I found my first scorpion. Or my first tarantula or something. That's a dynastid beetle, right? Yeah, that's a that's definitely a dynastid beetle. I don't need one of them. So what am I looking at? So I'm looking for the uh, giant beetle and the rainbow stag on regular trees. I'm looking for the Atlas Beetle and the Gul and the Horned Hercules uh, on palm trees, and then the Tarantula and Scorpion just on the ground, obviously. Anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to what that was. Whoops. Let's see if these palm trees have, have anything on them. Does not look like it. Getting frustrated. They spawned two goliath beetles early on and that was it. That looks like a Miyama stag. It's definitely not a giant beetle, right? Yeah, no. Or a rainbow stag, so. Chase that thing off. And what's nice is, like, we time-traveled to get to this point, but we don't have to time-travel at all, like, during this ep- throughout this episode, because all the beetles that we're hunting for, all the bugs that we're hunting for are all part of the same window. What do you want now? Sup, fam? How's life, champ? You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, go. Rock. You're a liar, dude. You're a liar. Yeah, you always win when you draw the second, like when you don't draw at the same time. That's another horn dynasty, it looks like. I'm gonna. Oh, what is that? Is that another cockroach? Yeah. And another cockroach. Ah, and a pitfall. I didn't even see anything buried back here. I think it's already closed. I think Nookington's is already closed. Uh. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to scare it away. In case it's the giant stag that I'm after. It could be, I guess. I don't think it is, but it, I guess it could be. Or the giant beetle, sorry. I don't know what it is. Giant? Nah, it's just a regular stag beetle. Alright, well, see that one... I don't know. I think the giant beetle and the and the stag beetle look similar. I think they both got like the black color to them. 
I imagine it would just be it would be like that, but just like slightly bigger. That'd be my guess. I don't want to sprint around too much in case I do uh, stumble upon something running around on the ground. I don't want to get assaulted by a scorpion or a tarantula tonight. I'd rather catch them. Stupid mosquito. Stupid goliath beetle. Bite me, please. Get it over with. There you go. I don't want another Goliath beetle. Oh, it's midnight, though. Who is another big beetle? Someone gonna say that midnight? Oh, no! I think that was a giant beetle, dude. I'm so angry. And it's gone. I'm so pissed. I'm fairly confident that that was a giant beetle. I saw, like, the, it had, like, the big bug eyes. I'm so pissed. I'm so freaking pissed. Like, I'm picturing it in my head, just, like, what I just saw. And I'm fairly positive that that was a freaking... Stupid fireworks, dude. Stupid fireworks. Distraught. I'm angry. Why'd that have to happen to me? Why do bad things happen to relatively good people? <laughs> oh no. What is that? Probably a freaking cockroach? Yup. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to see from here on out are just cockroaches. There goes another one. I think I didn't actually see that one, but it buzzed away sounding like a cockroach. Game, you better make it up to me now, because I'm pissed at you. I'm pissed at you, Animal Crossing Wild World. I still want a can of, like, bug spray in-game. That's not a giant beetle. It's a regular saw stag, I'm pretty sure. But what do I know, right? Did it. Caught a stag beetle. Maybe the other one was a stag- it was just a stag beetle, too. Get me, mosquito. Hurry up. This stupid duck won't let me get stung by- or bit by this mosquito. It's like pushing me away from the mosquito, which any other time I'd be very like grateful for, but not while I'm standing there trying to get bit. Get it over with. Oh, dude, I'm so mad. I'm gonna tell myself that it was it wasn't a giant beetle. I'm just gonna tell myself that it wasn't a giant beetle. It was probably just a stag beetle. It's no big deal. Even though in my heart, I don't believe it thoroughly. There's another scarab beetle. Wow, yeah, you can just walk right up on them. Zero effort.
How many spaces do I have left? Four spaces, but I do have to donate a scarab beetle, so it'll be five spaces. And that's just a little crappy. A little crappy Miyama stag. I assume it. I assume at least. It's something along those lines. I don't know. Let me readjust my microphone. Get it a little bit closer to my face. Okay. Back to the hunt now. Still haven't seen any ground dwellers either. Any tarantulas. Or, whoa! Hey, big boy! Spoke too soon. I think that's a scorpion, but I can't tell because it's just a collection of pixels. Don't move anywhere. I don't know what you are or... Got it. It's a scorpion. I caught myself a scorpion, boys and girls. Okay, let me... <laughs> Check the scorpion off the list. Hoorah. Of course, I was looking more so for the tarantula, but I'll take a scorpion. Didn't look like a scorpion on the ground. So I imagine a tarantula is just going to be a weird little ball of black pixels. Since the scorpion was just like a weird, snaky, flat shape of brownish-red pixels. Like, if I didn't know that there was a scorpion in this game, I would have seen that. I've been like, oh my god, my god, is it the snake? <laughs> Or I would have, I would have just run right over it, honestly. And then I would have got bitten by it, and I would have been like, "What just happened?" The scorpion is mine, though, guys. I'm s mm, lantern fly. I'm stoked though, because that's a big one. That's that's a rare one. That instills some level of confidence that I might see that giant beetle return. Oh, it was weeds. I saw something on the ground and I was like, what was that? Any collection of pixels on the ground at this point could be a tarantula. That's the way I'm seeing it right now. Okay, let's check these palm trees. Another freaking Goliath beetle. Which I don't want. And another freaking Goliath beetle, which I don't want. I think I was pretty stoked when I caught that Goliath beetle like two episodes ago. I think it was. But now, no, not so much. Now they're freaking everywhere. Now they're like the least rare bug in the game. Seemingly. Just kidding. There's that fruit beetle over there that's obviously less rare. I've seen maybe a million of them tonight. I'm gonna run back over to this little wall. See if there's another random bug stuck, like a scorpion or. I, honestly, at first I thought it was a cockroach. It didn't look like it had a tail. It looked like a little flat thing with like a, with like antenna, antennae, antennas, whatever. Um, I thought it was a big cockroach, and I was like, "Ew, what the heck? That's a giant cockroach." But it wasn't. It was not a giant cockroach. Twas a scorpion. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Any, uh, any beetles? Down yonder.
I'm not seeing much of anything down yonder. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing up there. I don't know why I keep going up there. There's never anything up there, I don't think. I think the big finds are going to come off of these palm trees. If I can get either the uh, the Hercules beetle or the uh, the atlas. Oh, mama. There's the horned atlas, I think. Boom, baby. The atlas beetle is mine. So there's another one. So now it's just the tarantula, the horned Hercules, the giant beetle, and the rainbow stag. I say just, but there are four left. It's black and looks tough. It's the strongest beetle. That's cool. I didn't ask for that information, but cool. I really thought I would have caught the rainbow stag by now. Or at least seen it, you know? Maybe not caught it. Although I haven't I haven't completely whiffed it yet tonight. I haven't completely whiffed any uh bug catching attempts. Which is good. The scorpion I was I was actually I was nervous to see how the game handled. Um Okay, I I don't care. Okay, bye. I'm busy. I'm busy doing things, Rhonda. Stupid mosquitoes, dude. Bane of my existence. Bane of my existence. And at some point, you're just like, you just have to stand here and just let, get, let it bite you. And then it takes so long. There you go. It like circles your head like three times before it finally gets the nerve to bite you. Um, so, yeah, at some point, I guess, at some point I should go into the museum and donate these things, right? At some point. Not in a rush yet. Still have two more pocket spaces left, so. Whole lot of nothing up there, as is tradition. Oh, that looked like a saw, uh, saw a stag or whatever, a stag beetle, but could have been a giant beetle. Gotta be more careful than that. That could have been a huge missed opportunity. Might have been, I'm not sure, but it didn't look like it. Lantern fly over there. Another mosquito. Another fruit beetle. Frog. Okay. 
Okay. Another cockroach. Scare that away. I thought I fell at first, but I accidentally just picked a weed. No big deal. Just accidentally picked a weed. <laughs> Anything else? It's trying to get caught. Big old fishy in there. Part of me thinks I should catch it. But I'm not gonna. Because I'm an idiot. Probably. Are there any... What what fish am I actually looking for right now? Uh, lake fish, the gar... Meh. These look like a size 6. It doesn't look like a size 6 to me, but I'll catch it anyway, maybe. Because it could be a koi, I guess, right? In theory. Oh, it's going to be downriver now. If you're going to make a big deal out of it, I'm not going to try to catch you. You're not worth my time like that. Mm. Making a big deal out of it. Come on. It's a tire. After all that, it was a freaking tire. Just taking up pocket space. I can't even throw it back. Alright, that teaches us, that taught me my lesson. I'm not going to do any more fishing today. Strictly bug catching for today's episode. Um. Let's see here. Any beetles? Any beetles at all? The town seems pretty beat right now. I think it's time to go cash in these things at the museum. And maybe refresh the map out here. And then I say that and I see a beetle, but it's just a dynastid. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> I really wish Nuckington's was open. So I could just sell a pocket full of garbage. Well, what is that? Oh, it's a dead flower. It, it looked like two-dimensional pixely spider legs. And I was like, spider legs, you say? Spider legs, I see? Could be a tarantula. But it was not. So let me run into the museum. Let me let the, the world out here refresh uh, in my absence. And let me donate these uh, these new catches of the night. Donation, donation. Uh, so... The Scarab Beetle. Is numero uno. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it, Blathers. I don't want to... Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I have two more, right? I have the scorpion. <clears throat> I 
Alrighty, so we got the scorpion. And then... Sure is. Got one more thing here. We got the Atlas Beetle. The Atlas Beetle for you, Blathers. Alright, so that frees up a little bit of pocket space for us. Um, and it also... Well, one, it gets it out of gets all those things out of our pockets, so we don't accidentally release them or swap them. Um, frees up some pocket space for more beetles or more bugs, and then hopefully, hopefully, since we were just inside for a minute, it uh, it refreshed the world out here. So maybe some new uh, some new things might spawn. Maybe we get a tarantula. Maybe we get a horned Hercules on one of these palm trees down here. Eh? Eh? No. Nope. Nope, nothing. <laughs> so yeah, it is just the horned Hercules now. <clears throat> or rather, just the Hercules beetle in this. Oh no, it's the horned Hercules. Uh, it's just the horned Hercules... On the palm trees and the giant stag, or the giant beetle and the rainbow stag, uh, those bad boys are gonna be on just regular trees, and then the tarantula could be anywhere, hunting me, filling me with terror. <laughs> filling me with terror both when I know it's around and when I don't. Just a constant state of terror. Knowing that a, a tarantula could be anywhere. A tarantula could be anywhere or nowhere. What is that guy? <laughs> could be a giant stag. It's not. Just a regular stag beetle, dude. I'm pretty sure... I'm looking at them right now in this Critterpedia. They look exactly the same. The The giant beetle's just fatter. And the mandibles are, like, slightly farther apart. There's no way I'm gonna be able... I'm gonna identify it when I see it, I don't think. For some reason, I, gen I was genuinely convinced that the one I saw before the fireworks kicked me out. Uh, or refreshed the map. I was genuinely convinced that that was a giant stag. No, what now? I've already talked to you tonight. Muscles. Useless dialogue, dude. Anybody who says that uh, the dialogue in Animal Crossing New Horizons has been dumbed down, I don't think you've played Animal Crossing Wild World. Because the dialogue in this game, it might be slightly, like, more dynamic, or, like, more... more diverse, but it's certainly not more complex. You get the same dummy, dummy, dumb, dumb, you know, call and responses over and over again. Hey, what am I thinking about? Here's a list of things to choose from. Wrong. I forget what I was thinking about. Ha ha ha. Bye. It's just, it's just a nuisance. It's like filler content. The game is like, I see you uh, doing pretty well, completing your museum and your Critterpedia. Let me just slow that process down real quick. By asking something mind-numbingly stupid of you. Like if they were like, hey, here's some community gossip, right? Or hey, did you know this event is coming up? Or hey... Uh, you want to play hide and seek? Those things would be welcome. Those would be welcome things to talk about. But they don't do that. They're just like, hi. What am I thinking about, champ? Ha, wrong. I don't think about muscles. I'm a lion, idiot. Ha, ha, ha. I forget what I was thinking about, but it wasn't muscles. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I have a I have personal grudge against him. He's just freaking... He's always so annoying. 
him and Rhonda. Rhonda is kind of, um, it's kind of an irritating neighbor as well. Just, they're just the ones that, the ones that always come up to me and need something of you. Those are the most annoying villagers. Just leave me alone. I'm like doing something. I'm trying to live my life. I'm trying to complete the game. I'm trying to do this, that, the other thing. I don't need some dummy coming up to me and just spewing mindless drivel. I don't need it. I don't need it. Point blank. I just don't need it. If you want to play a game, sure. Even Rock, Paper, Scissors was okay. If you want to play Rock, Paper, Scissors, I'm here for that. Maybe don't immediately... Maybe don't wait until I answer, though. And immediately call out the winning response afterwards, though. That's kind of, like, I don't know. No, I told you. Rhonda's the other one. What do you want? Have you read Staplers? A Brief History. I'm right in the middle of it, man. Isn't it good? I'm glad I could make you happy. I've never read, nor would I ever read, a brief history about staplers, though. And that's the only book anybody in this town reads. Everybody in town, if they're referring you to a book, it's staplers, a brief history. It's the only book that anybody here reads. It must be a real page turner, because everybody in town is just gaga over staplers. Alright, if I don't see anything of interest in the next, like, three or four minutes, that's where we're going to call it for the night. Because that's, I, oh, 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 it's Goliath Beetle. Get out of here. I say, because I haven't seen much of anything, let alone something of interest. I don't know what that was. Scared it away, though, like an idiot. I think, uh, I think we peaked. I think we got that scorpion. I think we got that, uh, horned atlas. Or the atlas beetle. I think that was our peak. I don't know if we're going to be able to, uh... Huh? No, I think this is just another... <laughs> just another regular old stag beetle. I'll catch it, because you'll never know. Yeah, just a stag beetle. But then, like, when you look at it in-game, um... The stag beetle in-game looks just as fat as the, uh, giant beetle, or just as wide as the giant beetle does in the Critterpedia. Like, on the online wiki. So, I, I genuinely don't know what the giant beetle's going to look like in-game. I'm assuming it's just gonna look like that, but just bigger. But... I have no idea. <laughs> Another Dynastid Beetle... Which, in re reality, that's probably what I scared away a couple minutes ago. Yeah, I'm really not seeing much of anything at this point. <laughs> Maybe if I go over at these palm trees from a different angle. I don't think I've come at them from the, the right, or from the left. Yet.
Didn't matter. Oops. I do believe I hear a mosquito buzzing by. Somewhere close by. Alright. Maybe me saying this is where the or where the game is gonna, you know, pick up the slack and <laughs> do something about it, but I think that's where we're gonna call it for today. Kind of a shorter episode than last time, and we'll have to We'll have to come back <laughs> and do a little bit more bug hunting for the remaining bugs that are going away at the end of August. Which include, like I said, um, the giant beetle, the rainbow stag, the horned Hercules, and the tarantula. But I'm just not seeing them. I I'm not even just not seeing them, but I'm just not seeing much of anything at the moment. But for whatever reason, the game... Ooh, what is that? Oh, no, it's just a crappy little... Whatever. Whatever stag beetle. It just looked like it had glowing, red, or glowing white eyes, and I was like, what is that thing all the way up there? Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it just doesn't seem like anything is spawning right now. Or anything good is spawning right now. <laughs> It's not even just that I'm not finding... Again, like, I'm not... It's not that I'm just not finding the things that I'm looking for. I'm just not finding much of anything at the moment. Just all of town is just kind of beat. With a few exceptions. Oh, boy. <laughs> So yeah, let me make one more round, I guess, but for whatever reason, whenever I stop looking, though, that tends to be when um, I find something, which reinvigorates my hunt, and it's weirdly timed. It's always like I start signing off, or I start just saying like, well, that's it for tonight, or for today, and then the game is like, just kidding, here, have that bug you were looking for. <laughs> So with that said, maybe that'll do the trick today, too. Uh, with that being said, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single weekend now uh, and when I upload new video content such as this every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. Make sure to smash the like button on this video. And leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I genuinely think that the town just isn't spawning any more bugs tonight. Uh, oh, I saw a shooting star. That's cool. I don't think in this game you can really do anything about it. Like you can't wish on shooting stars in this game, I don't think. But, um, still cool. Still a cool way to close out the stream. Or the, the episode. The stream. Um, yeah, so I, I think I, I did my whole spiel. I think I've said my piece. Ooh. Hold up. Better not be a tire again. <laughs> I bet it'll be a fish I already have, though. I want this one, not that little secondary garbage fish. Mmm, I'm getting mad. I 
I just say this little other garbage fish is pissing me off. That is an arapaima. I think I already caught an arapaima in this game, right? Didn't I? I didn't. I didn't. So cool. Oh wait, wait. Am I in the right game? Oh crap! Whoops. I picked up the wrong. No. I bet I did catch an arapaima probably in this game already. I did. Wow. I was so hyped. I was so hyped for nothing. What about you? Can you give me at least another fish that I, I need? <laughs> you didn't get scared away when I reeled in that arapaima. So it's probably a tire. It's a freaking carp, dude. Alright, I'm done. Game got me all excited. I was real hype, and then it just, all it did was make me cross out the wrong fish on the wrong game. I have checklists for all the different Animal Crossing games. <gasps> Hold up, there's another scorpion. It's another freaking scorpion. I want a tarantula. Where'd it go? Did I scare it away? Is that a thing you can do in this game? Is that a stupid question? Definitely didn't go this way, right? I think I scared the scorpion away. Wish I'd be upset about if I didn't already catch a scorpion tonight. I didn't think you could even do that, honestly. Maybe it just walked forward and it ended up in the river. Maybe it had nothing to do with me running towards it. So I thought they turned on you and attacked you. They do in every other Animal Crossing game. They don't just run away from you. Alrighty, well, anyway, that was a nice little, um, section of absolute failure. <laughs> I caught an arapaima, which I didn't need. Somehow scared a scorpion to its death in the river, seemingly. Uh... Didn't catch anything of value. Caught a carp. What are you? Can you be a giant beetle, please? Nope, another stag beetle. Release it, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's garbage. Uh, release this stupid thing. Back down here. Hercules. Nope. Another Atlas beetle. Hercules. Nope. Beetles are actually kind of difficult to scare away in this game. Like all of them. Even the big ones. Not that difficult. But. Relatively difficult. Alright. Well I already signed off. I already did my whole spiel. So. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep running in circles and finding nothing and just failing miserably for another hour. Um, so, yeah. Like this video if you haven't already. Share the video with family and friends. Share my channel with family and friends. Anybody who loves Animal Crossing or who loves Nintendo games as much as I do are welcome here on the channel. Um... I'm just really reluctant to just call it quits. But I've gotta. I've gotta do it eventually. So, I'm gonna. It's gonna walk back to my house. Make sure I don't miss anything. And when I don't... Alrighty, that's what we'll call it for tonight. Or today, tonight, whatever. It's not actually 12.39am when I'm recording this, but... 
whatever. Um, yeah, I done my I done my whole spiel already. So thank you so much for watching.